I see things. Hey everyone, this is Geek Cosmos with a lowdown on the abilities of Dota 2's newest hero, the ranged support Grimstroke. Let's jump right into it. Grimstroke's first ability, called Stroke of Fate, is somewhat similar to Windranger's Power Shot in the way it is cast. It is a point cast ability, which means you can cast it on the ground, has quite a bit of range, and takes approximately a second to wind up, after which Grimstroke paints a path of ink in a straight line in front of him, slowing down enemies by up to 80% and causing 300 damage at max level, plus up to an additional 40 damage per enemy hit by the spell. This means that the more enemies you hit, the more the total damage. You can use this ability to catch up to or nuke enemies running away from you, slow down pursuing enemies, or to clear creep waves with a single stroke. The second spell, Phantom's Embrace, summons a phantom that travels towards a single targeted enemy and grabs hold for up to 5.5 seconds, dealing up to 30 damage per second and silencing the enemy for the duration, or till it is destroyed. It takes 3 hits to take down the phantom at max level and 5 with the level 20 talent. If the enemy fails to destroy the phantom within the time limit, it deals an additional 360 damage and returns to Grimstroke to refresh the spell's cooldown. This basically means that with the right setup, this spell can be cast several times during a teamfight. What's more, it cannot be dispelled. Moving on to the third spell. Inkswell can be cast on oneself or any allied unit to make them invulnerable to physical attacks and increase their movement speed by up to 40% for 3 seconds, at the cost of being silenced for the same duration. Any enemies in a 400 radius around the unit suffer up to 55 damage per second. When the buff expires, enemies still in the radius receive additional damage and are stunned for an amount proportional to the damage per second that was dealt while the buff was in place. Enemies can receive anywhere from a 100 to 400 additional damage and be stunned for 1 to 4 seconds at max level. This can be used to bail yourself or allies out of sticky situations or to complement teamfight combos. And finally we have the ultimate. Soulbind can be used to bind an enemy hero to its closest allied hero in a 550 radius. Heroes that are bound together are slowed by up to 45% for 8 seconds at max level and here's the kicker. Any unit targeted spell cast on one of the two heroes is automatically cast on the other one. This includes item abilities. While heroes bound to one another can move together in one direction, staying within the binding radius, they can't move apart and in opposite directions. If the target of the spell, say, blinks outside of the radius, it will be rebound to another one of its allied heroes if one is close enough. Oh, and by the way, Soulbind goes through spell immunity. If you're wondering how you might use all these spells in unison, here's a simple example off the top of my head. And that's all there is to it. If you liked this video, leave a like and subscribe, maybe even hit that bell icon to be notified of my next upload. If you didn't, leave a dislike along with some feedback in the comment section below, it might help the channel. With that, I wish you an awesome day and hope to see you soon in my next video.